Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here on the west coast of Canada, also known as the capital city of the province of British Columbia. I hope everybody is having a super start to their weekend. I hope you're full of plans, ambitions, and you're having a great day. Uh, welcome Hun Hun. Hi Marjona. Welcome Jazz. Good to see many of our regular students. Welcome Baljeet, Tatiana, Mal. Um, awesome. Mal says weekend starts right after this class. Mal, that is perfect. All right. I hope you get a chance to relax. In this class, everyone, uh, we are looking at IELTS speaking part three. Specifically, we're continuing on with the topic of speaking part two that we looked at yesterday, a place to relax, a place to recharge your batteries, rejuvenate. Um, this is an all chat class on February 5th with interactive speaking. We will be using our websites for that in a few moments. This lesson, everyone, is brought to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS. Check us out there for the general IELTS. Visit us at gieltshelp.com. On both of those websites, we have over a 100 hour video course, a 400 slide interactive course, original practice exams, lots more. It doesn't cost a lot for the website. Um, it's a one-time payment for lifetime access. You click this big red button to join the premium package. We're a certified IELTS test registration center globally and a certified British Council agents. You're in great hands with us. For the general IELTS, it's the green background. Click that big red button there. When you do, uh, make sure to use our Lunar uh, New Year discount code. It's the year of the tiger. So just remember, tiger9, 9, 9 for band 9 on IELTS. Um, apply that code and you get your... 30% uh, discount tiger nine use that code there we go and then you've got your 30% discount so you're off to the races okay everybody so again oh and there's only three days uh, left for that uh, tiger nine discount code so make sure to use it today, tomorrow. Um, and uh, you can get our apps. When you get the course, you get the apps. It's included, of course. Academic IELTS Help, General IELTS Help at Google Play, Apple Apps, Instagram, IELTS underscore AE Help, GLTS Help. Lots of uh, vocabulary. And uh, yeah, join us now. Um, you can see our schedule on Instagram and on YouTube for live classes. Again, today speaking part three. No class um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and lots more classes next week. If you have questions, send me an email. Um, questions, email me adrian at aehelp.com. You can see it right there. Okay. So now, uh, part three questions. Boom, there we go. We're going to get right into it. So we've had a good week. We've done lots of um, strategy lots of learning now it's time to really just practice 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 all right um we talked about uh, a place to relax for uh part two and these are part three questions um just repeat after me let's go over these part three questions so let's talk about the importance of relaxation i'm going from the top here students why is it important uh, for people to take some time to relax in the day? What can happen if people do not find time to relax? Some people feel that keeping calm and staying relaxed is a skill that can be learned and improved. Do you agree with this? What kind of exercises can people do to let go of stress? When is it a good time to do this for people? Places for relaxation. Where are good places for relaxation? What are the differences among these places? Do you think it is the responsibility of people or the government to ensure places 
for people to relax? And can you elaborate? These are the questions that we will be looking at today and we will be chatting about and you will be practicing these, okay? So, uh, yeah, you do have writing class next week, Marjona, as well. Absolutely. Okay. All right, everyone. So let's get into these questions now. Uh, remember, when you answer for IELTS speaking part three, uh, make sure to, uh, well, first of all, speak and repeat. Okay, so speak and repeat. Um, it's very important that you're speaking in this class and not just listening, okay? And uh, importantly, answer. Plus, always give an explanation. Um, explanation. Basically, the word that should be floating around in your head um, as soon as you give an answer is because. It should be like, well, this is the answer because this is the reason. So because should always be floating around in your head. And then um, your example should always be floating around in your head. Example. And um, with the example, you should always be thinking of something like in fact. Okay. So in fact. Ooh, my typing. In fact, dot, dot, dot. Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to practice this, students. And the way we're going to practice this is I'm going to get into calling some of you. Um, hopefully, we will have lots of volunteers today um, to volunteer to speak with me and practice these questions to get a band score estimate and some feedback. Follow these steps. Okay. So this is volunteering to speak with me. All right, Tatiana, you're jumping the gun a bit, but hopefully I see you in the uh, list of volunteers and then we can get to it. So to volunteer, register a free or paid account on the website, log into your My Student account, click on Student Partner Speaking, make sure to enable your microphone, okay, and your speaker on the website. So say, yes, I allow it, and then keep the window open. Message um, the master handle, the blue envelope, I want to volunteer. And then we're good to go. All right, so uh, let's just jump back to the website here, okay? Again, uh, you can register a course by clicking the green or the red button when you do that you go to your my student account that's up at the top here see that my student account right at the top up there above the numbers click that and then um, you've got lots of goodies here including uh, student partner speaking right there above my head let's click that Accept the terms, that this just basically, it means you're accepting that you're using this, you're responsible for what you say, um, and uh, you're 18 years of age or older, that's your own responsibility, and that you're going to be respectful. So you accept that, and immediately you are in the chat interface. We see Calvin, Anjana, Faras, Namratha, Jyoti, and many more. Let me get my headset. Students, if you have a headset for this, that will help. Okay. All right, Manaj Beck, I'm doing great, thank you. So here we go. Oh my got the right, yeah, left, right, okay. That will work. All right, uh, Shab, I'm looking for you. I remember you had a question that I couldn't get to last class, so hopefully you're going to volunteer for a question here. And then um, we're off to the races. The first person that I'm catching here is Ikshan. So Ikshan, let me see if you're there and you're ready. Ikshan I says, I want to volunteer. Okay, Ikshan, are you ready? Uh, let's do this. Okay, so again, I'll give you a band score estimate, give you some feedback, a little bit of practice. Ikshan is ready to go. Okay. Uh, hello, sir. Hi, Sean. Yeah. How are you? So, um, I'm fine, sir. Quite nervous, actually. 
Sorry, could you repeat it? You said you're fine, but then I couldn't catch what you said after. Um, I'm quite nervous. Uh, can you hear my voice clearly, sir? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Absolutely. You said you're quite nervous. Don't be nervous. You shun. <laughs> the sun will shine. Life will continue. All is good. All right. Uh, so, Ikshan, uh, thank you for being the first volunteer today. That's fantastic. It's very brave of you. Um, so what we'll do, Ikshan, is I will ask you uh, a question. Um, Ikshan, were you here for the speaking part two class that we did yesterday? Uh, about the beach, sir? Yeah, that's right. Long Beach in Tofino. Yes. Okay. You remember what we talked about? Uh... Mostly, yeah, but I, I think I forgot a few details. Yeah, a few details. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's okay. As long as you remember some of the information. So we talked yeah. about Long Beach to Fino. We said that it's a nice sandy beach that's quite long, about five kilometers. We mentioned that uh, that's where I like to go for relaxation, to do some sunbathing, walk along the beach, a little bit of surfing, lying on the surfboard, listening to the waves, right? Fresh air. Um, so the reason I'm reminding you and I'm reminding everybody, not just you, Ikshan, is because when you're um, talking about uh, part three, so when you're giving answers for part three, it's really good to keep in mind your part two answer so that you can make connections uh, whenever possible. That makes a much more coherent type of conversation. You'll get a higher band score. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, yeah, sir. So I need to talk about the beach also. If you can <laughs> connect it. Yeah, like if, if you can make a connection in your answer, it shouldn't be your only answer, but if you can make a connection, then it's a really good idea uh, to do that, okay? Um, and also you want to remember some of the other ideas uh, that came up for places for relaxation. Do you remember any of the other ideas that some students were recommending for places to go uh, to relax beside the beach? Uh, maybe like libraries or like National Library or something like that. Yeah, you want to definitely get rid of the word something because something is a nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so something equals to nothing. Um, so library, library is a, is a good answer. Yeah, you could go to the library to relax and read a book, right? Maybe a favorite novel. Uh, go to the park for a walk. There were a couple people that suggested the park. I think a few people suggested going to a spa um, for relaxation or the swimming pool, okay? So you want to keep those in mind because those can become very useful uh, for questions in part three, okay? Thank you. Awesome. Okay, Ikshan, so fantastic. Now we have some ideas and now I'm going to ask you a question. Give me a nice full sentence answer um, and then uh, I'll give you some feedback, okay? Okay, sir. All right. Um, so let's talk about the importance of relaxation. Why is it important for uh, people to take some time to relax in the day? Uh, I think it's important for people to take some time to relate to relax their body, not only their body physically but also mentally. Because when you just keep working your body out, either it's physically or mentally, it will tire you out. So I think it's important for you to keep calm and staying relaxed and also by keeping your mind and your body calm and relaxed it will enhance your ability to act and think better and and make a better judgment okay so that's about a band 6.5 answer um, and maybe band 7 your fluency is definitely um, easily a band 7.5 even Ikshan okay um, and you started okay I'll let you know what you did well and where you need to improve okay so uh, my question was why is it important for people to take some time to relax in the day and I think your answer was good for the most part so it was Clear. You said, I think it's important for people to take some time to relax their body. Here, 
Uh, a really good step that you took is you use the question in your answer and that really helps me, the examiner, to recognize that you, you're understanding the question and that you're uh, staying on topic. One way that you can improve this to increase your lexical resource is to actually paraphrase. Okay, um, so what's another way to say important? Vital. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And vital works really well in this context because vital actually means not just important, but important for life or to live. Um, like wow. the word vi vitality, vitality is your life energy. So vitality, vital. Um, your vital signs are your uh, signs of life, like your pulse. Okay, and your heartbeat, those are your vital signs. So relaxation is very connected to this concept of vital. Do you see what I mean? Yes, sir. Yeah, so I think it's vital for people will definitely increase that lexical resource mark. So I think it's vital for people to take some time and then here again, relax. So you just repeated the same word that's in the question, which is good, but you can do better by paraphrasing that. So what's another way to say relax? Uh, wine. Uh, I, <laughs> I think you're thinking uh, of unwind. Uh, unwind, yeah. <laughs> right? Unwind, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of wines. Wind up, unwind, right? Um, so unwind, yeah. Um, chill out, take it easy. Okay, there's a few different ways to say relax. Well, if I say like chill out, it's okay. I'm yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You're picking up marks. Um, okay, so the speaking uh, section of both the general and the academic, it's not necessarily just professional vocabulary, okay? It is absolutely okay to use phrasal verbs, slangs, and idioms as long as you're using them correctly. So if you say chill out, like you say, I think it's vital for people to take some time to chill out during the day, yeah, I will give you marks for that. You will get a better mark than if you just repeat the word relax. Definitely. Okay. Okay. All right. So I think it's vital for people to take some time to unwind um, both their body and mind. You had a little bit of a um, an awkward pause there when you were thinking about this, both their body and mind because and then here you switched from the third to the second person voice so you started with i think it's vital for people that's the third person voice and then suddenly you jumped to the second person voice in good communication both oral and written so whether you're speaking or writing you must focus to avoid jumping your voice Okay, so now suddenly you're talking about me. Does that, you see that, Ikshan? So first you're talking about people in general, and now suddenly you're talking about me. You're saying when you just work out your body, is what you said. Okay, so don't do that. If you start general with people, stay objective, stay with people, individuals, employees, students, okay? So I think it's vital for people to take some time to unwind both their body and mind because when they just work all day, so use the pronoun they here instead, they just work all day and tire out their body, okay, um, it will uh, lead to frustration and bad mood. Okay, um, okay, and then uh, with rest, people make better judgments. Live happier and make better judgments. Okay, now you didn't include anything from part two. Okay, um, here is where in the example you could have. So you could have said something like, um, this is exactly... Uh, the reason I go to Long Beach at least once every couple months. You see, and then you're really putting a point to your argument, okay? All right, so now we transform that band 6.5 answer into a band nine level answer. Let me read this and then you can repeat after me. Does that sound good, Ishan? Yes, sir. 
Awesome. And now I'm hearing confidence in your voice. That's super. Here we go. Uh, why is it important for people to take some time to relax in the day? I think it's vital for people to take some time to unwind both their body and mind because when they just work all day and tire out their uh, body, it will lead to frustration and bad mood. With rest, people live happier and make better judgments. This is exactly the reason I go to Long Beach at least once every couple of months. Okay, let's take out this body here. It's a bit awkward. Um, here we go, Ikshan. So the question, just repeat this answer. Why is it important for people to take some time to relax in the day? I think it's vital for people to take some time to unwind, both their body and mind, because when they just work all day and tire out, their, uh, they didn't show up yet, so sorry. Mm -hmm. They will lead to frustration and bad mood. With rest people live happier and make better judgments. This is exactly the reason I go to Long Beach at least once every couple of months. Awesome, much better. Okay, I fixed that oddity there. So let's try it one more time. Go for it one more time, nice and smooth, okay? I think it's vital for people to take some time to unwind both their body and mind because when they just work all day and tire out, it will lead to frustration and bad mood. With rest, people live happier and make better judgments. This is exactly the reason I go to Long Beach at least once every couple of months. Awesome. That is a solid band 8.59 answer in that uh, context. Okay. So if you keep going that way, you'll do just fine. All right, Ikshan, um, really good. Thank you for being the first volunteer and thank you for giving me the chance to uh, give uh, a good few tips to all of our uh, listeners and all of our viewers on how to get those higher band scores. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you for giving me the chance to, sir, and thank you for correcting me. That's a lot of correction. Thank all you, right. Sir. You're very welcome, Ikshan. Have an awesome rest of your weekend. Yes, thank you, sir. Okay, that was Ikshan. Ikshan did a fantastic job, okay? That was really good. Um, and uh, I hope everybody uh, was really paying attention because that's how you move from that band 6.5 to that much higher band. And I can actually tell that Ikshan is a higher than band 6.5 speaker of the English language. We just need to make sure that we show it. Okay, um, so I'm looking for some more volunteers here. Uh, let's just go right after um, uh, Ikshan here, we have Ho, um, okay, and we'll just keep working down the list and then jumping around a bit. So here we go with Ho, Ho is ready. Okay, um, Ho, I'm gonna ask you again, are you ready just to double check and then when you tell me yes, I will call you and we'll move uh, through the questions, okay? All right, Ho says he's ready. Okay, oh, here we go, let me call you. Hi ho, I hear that you picked up, but I don't hear your voice. I'm wondering if you enabled your microphone or if your audio is set up correctly. I'm not sure, because I don't hear you. Okay, ho, uh, check your audio. <clears throat> Students, uh, check with other uh, people in the chat to make sure that your audio is working. Just send them a message and say, hey, can we talk for a second just to make sure my audio is good? Um, and then uh, talk for a moment and then we can keep going, okay? So, Ho, oh, I cannot hear you. Check your audio. All right, let me reach out to, uh, I think the next was uh, Tatiana. Let me see if I can reach out to Tatiana. <laughs> After Bandita or Saab, probably. I'll look for Bandita and Saab. I haven't seen Bandita and Saab, but if I catch them... Yeah, I don't see Bandita and Saab yet, Tatiana, but thank you for reminding me about that. Okay, are you ready? Okay, and hopefully Bandita and Saab will jump in here as well. Hi, Tatiana. 
Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? I'm doing fantastic as well. If I remember correctly, Tatiana, you are currently in Russia? Or am I Hello? wrong? Are you in? Hi, Tatiana, can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Now I can hear you well. Okay, and my, my question was, if I remember correctly, you're in Russia, right? That's right. Okay, and how is it right now in Russia on this beautiful Saturday? It's getting warmer and uh, there is uh, nice weather for a walk. Great, happy to hear it, that's awesome. Okay, so Tatiana, uh, I'm going to ask you uh, some questions here for part three, okay? Um, and uh, give me a nice uh, full answer, okay? Make sure when you finish your answer, you stop. Now in part three, the way that it works is you have a question and then often the examiner will ask you a follow-up question. So a question that's uh, directly related. So I'm going to jump back and ask you the same question as Ikshan and then I'm going to ask you a follow-up question. How does that sound? That sounds great. Okay, so here we go. Um, why is it important for people to take some time to relax in the day? It is vital for every individual to make time for relaxation during a day, uh, to stay productive and healthy. Otherwise, uh, the, exhaust the exhaustion will build up and the person will not meet uh, the challenge or burn out. What can happen if people do not find time to relax? In this case, an individual may develop uh, health problems such as uh, backache or headache or also uh, they uh, may be fed up with their job because they will not uh, have a change of scene. And of course uh, their productivity will uh, go down so uh, personally, I make sure that uh, I have a break every hour, a five minute break and uh, go for a walk every day for an hour. Also, I have a massage once a week. Okay, very good. I'm going to stop you there. Um, Immediately, Tatiana, I recognized that um, you're speaking slightly slower than uh, when you volunteered in the past and more methodically. Okay, um, methodically means that you're thinking uh, more, so you're thinking more carefully about your response, your word selection and what you're saying. And I think that's to your benefit. So I think that's great. Um, your uh, fluency is still good. So speaking at this speed is absolutely fine. You can get a band nine speaking this speed. You do not need to um, rush your words. A lot of students think that in the IELTS you have to speak really fast to get a band mm -hmm. nine fluency. That's not true. It's much more important to speak clearly as what you were doing and to use um, accurate information and good vocabulary. And that's what you were doing, okay? Uh, intelligent speaking is methodical speaking. And I, I really enjoyed that. So that was, that was very Thank good. You. So thumbs up for that, okay? people First catch it them say. Mm -hmm. so yeah people catch it okay? <clears throat> the examiner catches that and I could tell that you're thinking about the information not about the grammar or the words so you're thinking about what you're saying right good um, so uh, for the first question you took some of my advice to Ikshan that was good you said it is vital for every individual to make time for relaxation very nice use of the phrasal verb make time Okay, um, uh, during the day uh, to stay healthy. And then you continued and um, you didn't really give an example here, but you also gave the opposite argument. So if they don't take breaks, you said they can burn out. Um, burnout means to become completely exhausted. And that was very good. Now with the burnout, you were basically also answering my follow-up question a bit. So my follow-up yeah. question was, what can happen if people do not find time to relax? Now, 
I love how you didn't get stuck on the idea of like, well, I already answered that. I just said that people burn out, right? Um, but you started to give more details and that's exactly what you have to do, okay, students? So if you feel uh, like you answered uh, the follow-up question already, don't just say I already gave an answer or get you know frustrated and get stuck, but give more details, okay? Um, so if you feel like you answered the follow-up question, give more details, give examples. And that's what you did, and that was really good. Your overall band score for that would easily be, I think, a band eight, okay? There were a couple of slight grammar oddities um, that were a little bit off, a little bit unnatural, that would lower your score, but overall it was quite good. At the end there, when you realize that, okay, I should give an example, I think um, had you done that a bit smoother, that would have also helped to increase your score a bit. So you said, in this case, an individual may develop health problems such as backache or headache. Um, yeah, and I think you could have gone a little bit further here um, because you thought about physical problems, but I think mental problems uh, could have been um, you know, a, a nice addition here. Um, also, uh, psychological. Getting depressed. Mm -hmm, exactly, also uh, psychological uh, ailments. Uh, like um, depression okay um, and yeah and then um, you can connect with their jobs so mm -hmm. this can lead uh, to have bigger problems um, with their job and family life um, because um, they uh, <coughs> behave negatively and their productivity uh, goes down. Okay, so I'm just doing a couple of slight corrections here. And then you came up with the grammar and you said, this is the reason I make sure to take a five minute uh, break um, every hour uh, when I'm working. And uh, also I go for a massage on the weekends. Okay, now you're flying high with those band eight, band nine uh, level uh, kind of assessment. Okay, um, so okay. let me just uh, repeat the follow-up question yes, and the answer and then copy after me, okay? So uh -huh. what can happen if people do not find time to relax? In this case, an individual may develop health problems such as back or headaches, also psychological ailments like depression, this can lead to, uh, to even bigger problems with their job and family life because they behave negatively and their productivity goes down. Uh, this is the reason I make sure to take five minute breaks every hour uh, when I'm working and also I go for a massage on the weekends. In this way, I avoid this terrible, these terrible situations. Okay, um, here we go. So what can happen if people do not find time to relax? In this case, an individual may develop health problems such as health backache or headache or even psychological ailments like ailments like depression. Uh, what's more, this can lead to even bigger problems with their job or uh, family life because a person may uh, behave negatively and lose their productivity. Uh, this is why I make sure to have a five-minute break every hour when I'm working and I also go for a massage on the weekend. It helps me to avoid uh, such terrible consequences. Beautiful answer, Tatiana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that's a band nine, no question. Okay, you answer like that for each question, I guarantee you're going to have a band nine. That was fantastic, okay? I will do my best, thank you. All right, bit of practice and you're, you'll, you'll be there. Thank you, Tatiana, for volunteering. Everybody give Tatiana an applause because that was super and it was a really nice improvement on the repeat there. So good job, Tatiana. It was nice to get back on track, bye-bye. <laughs> Excellent. Have a good weekend. Bye, Tatiana. Okay, so that was Tatiana, everyone. Um, superb. Yeah, and uh, that's all it is. It's just making those corrections, practicing, and then bumping up your score. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see who else is here. Let's take some uh, new volunteers. Let me see if I can 
find some new brave souls here that we don't often see volunteering again everybody um if you want to volunteer blue envelope message master okay so when you see master just click the blue envelope and say i'd like to volunteer and then um, i will uh, select you and we'll go from there okay let's try puja so at the top here okay puja are you ready and thank you for the applauses and support in the chat everyone i think that means a lot for our volunteers okay all right all right puja so let's see if you are ready to go hopefully puja ah there's puja okay Puja, it sounds like you picked up. Are you there? Adrian to Puja. Puja, are you there? Uh, students, again, make sure that you have your microphone and speaker enabled. If you are using mobile, you might have to uh, check your uh, settings a little bit um, for uh, allowing microphone and speakers. Okay. I don't hear Puja right now. <coughs> Excuse me. So Pooja, uh, try back again, check your settings. Try the system with somebody else, okay? All right. Um, let's try uh, Shahil. Okay, Shahil, are you ready? And Shaab, if you're here, Bandita, if you're here, message me. Shahil, if you're there, definitely message me. Okay. I need to get a response, Shahil, so that I know that you are at the other end still. I don't see anything, so let me see if Trang is there. You definitely want to have a good internet connection as well. So hi Trang, are you ready? Okay, hopefully Trang is there. It takes a minute too. Students, we do have a, this is almost perfect real-time streaming. And we're an extra low latency. There's about a five second delay between you and I. So that's why I'm giving um, the extra chance. And I see the general English help there as well. I'd love to see some volunteers from there, Malika or Balal. Okay, there's Trang. All right, Trang. Hi Trang, how are you? Uh, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. I can hear you loud and clear. Uh, Trang, may I ask, where are you right now in this big world of ours? Um, uh, I'm in uh, Hanoi, Vietnam right now. Hanoi, Vietnam, right on. Okay. And how is your weekend so far? Um, I'm doing great. Like, day is end now, so I'm left with like some uh, free time for myself. Good, and you're spending your free time studying English. Good for you. Right. Hats off. <laughs> right on. All right. And the weekend for you is that Saturday and Sunday? Right, right. Because Saturday in, and Sunday. Okay. In some countries, it's actually Friday, Saturday. I believe in a lot of the Arabic countries, it's Friday, Saturday. So. Not all weekends are the same as I have learned from our wow. students. <laughs> That's new to me too. Yeah, okay, Trank. So um, I will ask you a part three question. Uh, just before I do, may I ask, why are you doing the IELTS exam? What's your goal? Um, I'm, I'm uh, apply for scholarship for master, master in uh, Australia. Okay. Right on. I haven't been to Australia, but I hear it's beautiful. My parents have been there, right. so I would I would love to go someday. 
So, uh, okay, well, I will do my best to help you on that journey. I will ask you a part three question uh, for the Thank speaking. You. Give me a nice full sentence answer and then I'll reflect on what you say, okay? Okay. All right, here we I'm go. Ready. So, um, some people feel that keeping calm and staying relaxed is a skill that can be learned and improved. Do you agree with this? Um, yeah. Uh, I reckon is uh, absolutely true, um, cause um, I think uh, keeping calm and like chilled out need a uh, skill to find you know peace and like um, uh, individual need to um, find their. Uh, like try then peace to do like like such as yoga or meditation uh, and in fact i did some this type of i practice this type of activity every day i do meditation for like 10 to 20 minutes every day okay I'm almost caught up to you. Um, there we go. Well, this question is really hard for me. It's it's yeah. I mean, it's not terrible. This this uh, this kind of question. I mean, it could easily be a question for this topic on the IELTS exam. And I think you did an okay job um, with uh, your response. I think that you know you would uh, score a band um, six with that answer uh, and some examiners might score you a band 5.5 which I think is a bit harsh I think a more experienced examiner would score you a band 6 um, that's because your fluency is fairly low so you have good English uh, in the sense that you have good vocabulary and your pronunciation is quite nice it's clear uh, your vocabulary is quite good. I would say that your vocabulary is easily a band 7, 7.5. However, you're having a fair bit of difficulty speaking smoothly and, um, and you do need to speak a bit faster. So you're speaking at such a slow speed that I'm starting to kind of lose the the cohesiveness, connectedness of what you're saying. Okay, so if you would have said that like 20 percent faster then you would get an easily a 6.5 okay so my first um, tip is just practice lots and speak lots so that you use your vocabulary and, and language that you have okay and I know that you know it's kind of it's it's a bit um, it's a bit of a, a nervous situation talking like this as well so I, I get that and uh, that's fine okay let me give you a, a, a bit of um, detailed feedback here so you said um yeah I reckon <laughs> just right away drank I, I don't like the word reckon <laughs> okay it's just my personal opinion but I think students learn this word and um, it's kind of a southern dialect I think in mm -hmm. um, in the US where people say I reckon it's and it's kind of an interesting southern dialect which is fine we don't use it so much uh, along the west coast here so it's a bit odd for me and it it's like I think some IELTS teachers started teaching this word and everybody's using it but it's a bit of an odd word but okay that's just a personal opinion um, so it's not the end of the world I reckon it's absolutely true cuz I like how you use the natural slang here instead of the because you said cuz I think keeping calm and chilled out uh, needs a skill to find inner peace. Um, the problem with this kind of communication is that it's circular reasoning. So uh, keeping calm takes practice because it takes practice to find inner peace. It takes practice to find inner peace because um, it's necessary to stay calm. So you get into this kind of circular okay. logic. Do you see that? Just like in the loop. Yeah, exactly. You're in a loop. And when we create this kind of a looping concept, uh, the person that you're talking to will kind of do like a, huh? 
what what are you saying <laughs> right like what do, what do i do i'm in a loop right i feel like a hamster in a wheel um, and it doesn't make a lot of sense to them so um so you have to um uh you have to find more clarity okay so let's try to clear this up all right so i reckon it's absolutely true because i think keeping calm and chilled out uh needs skill um since uh many people or most people uh, get frustrated when uh, problems happen and it takes uh, many years to uh, maintain um, a uh, logical uh, approach without um, getting angry. Okay, so that makes a bit more sense um, to the listener. Okay, and then you kind of um, got into a bit of a problematic situation, but then you did something really good, which was you realized that, okay, there is yoga and there's meditation. Now, to come up uh, with this answer faster, with these answers faster, a really good trick is visualization. So as soon as the question is asked, like keeping calm, staying relaxed takes practice, you have to immediately go think inside of your head like, okay, can I see a picture where people are practicing relaxing? And then you go, ah, okay, breathing technique, like a, <sighs> or somebody doing yoga, right? Different yoga poses. And then you, you can yeah. come up much faster with those ideas. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, visual, yeah, so visualize it, see it, right? So um, like, um, practicing yoga and meditation um, and then you can say in fact I did some uh, of these activities uh, in fact I do some do you do yoga yes I do I actually I do yoga every day perfect like in the morning and uh, before bed time uh, Perfect. Yeah. So you, you have to use that, right? Do you feel relaxed when you do yoga? Yeah, definitely. I feel like my sleep is better when I do yoga. Me too. I do the same and I agree with you 100%. So especially when you have um, your own life that you can use information from, like what you said, like you do yoga, lean on that. So use that in your answer. Okay. So mm -hmm. in fact, I do uh, these activities uh, every day. I do meditation for like 10 to 20 minutes and then reflect back on the question. And this helps me mm -hmm. stay calm uh, in stressful situations. Okay. Um, in order to visualize and to be able to use information from your life, you have to be confident and you have to just take a, your nervousness and throw it out the window. Okay. And I think you're yeah. doing that by volunteering, which is really good, Trang. So I'm going to read this question, the answer, and then um, repeat after me. Okay. Ready? Okay. So here we go. Some people feel that keeping calm and staying relaxed is a skill that can be learned and improved. Do you agree with this? Uh, yeah, I reckon it's absolutely true because I think keeping calm and like chilled out needs skill since most people get frustrated when problems happen and it takes many years to maintain a logical approach without getting angry. Like uh, practicing yoga and meditation. In fact, I do these activities every day. I do meditation for like 10 to 20 minutes and this helps me stay calm in stressful situations. Some people feel that keeping calm and staying relaxed is a skill that can be learned and improved. Do you agree with this? Um, yeah, uh, I reckon it's absolutely true because I think keeping calm and like chill down needs skill since most people get frustrated when problems happen and it takes many years to maintain a logical approach without getting angry. Uh, like practicing yoga and meditation. In fact, I do these activities every day. I do meditations for like 10 to 20 minutes and this helps me to stay calm in stressful situations. 
yeah, much better, okay? So it's in you, I, I feel it, it's in you to get a high band score. Uh, you just have to practice lots. So uh, a big suggestion for sure is don't focus too much on learning a ton more vocabulary or grammar, mm -hmm. but invest your time, Trang, in using what you have. I feel like you have a lot of grammar, you have a lot of vocabulary in your head, you just need to use it more so you can become more fluent with it. So it's time for you to practice. So go on the website where we are right now when you have time, search for other people, other people who are here, ask them, you know, do you wanna practice for 20 minutes? Some questions um, up above here there's uh, you can click on these objects people places and then it'll bring up a whole bunch of questions for you to practice with a person okay, okay? so okay. so lots of practice don't worry too much about writing don't worry too much about grammar just lots of speaking practice okay 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 all right uh, thank you so much for your advice you are very welcome, Trang. Uh, keep it up, and I'm sure that you will get to the land down under and meet with some wonderful people and see some beautiful kangaroos and koalas. Okay, thank you very, very much. Okay, bye, Trang. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, so that was Trang, everybody. Give Trang an applause. I could tell, you know, she was fairly nervous at the beginning, but I think she got the hang of it a lot more afterwards, so that was super... Okay, um, so we've got Kelvin, Pooja, Juan Pablo. Okay, let's reach out to Juan. I don't think we've heard from him in a while. Let's see if he's available. He says he's available, so are you ready, Juan? All right, hopefully Juan is ready. And then we can have one more for the day. All right, here we go. Hi, Juan. Hello, Adrian. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. How is life in Argentina? It's doing well, so far. <laughs> so far, so good. All right, any big yeah. plans for this weekend? I, I think I'm just going to stay home and relax, relax here. All Maybe right. watch a movie or a TV series. Okay. I'm rewatching a few series, old TV series that for me are really good and relaxing. What are you rewatching? Uh, I'm rewatching Malcolm in the Middle. Okay, Malcolm uh, in the that's old school. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, okay. I've, I've always liked it since I was a child. So, yeah. and also The Office is okay. really good. Yeah. Those are some. Those are some pretty funny, uh, funny shows for sure. I think a lot of people yeah. are rewatching Seinfeld because Netflix bought Seinfeld for like five hundred million dollars or something like that. So yeah, yeah, I I have it on DVD. So okay. I watched it a, a few months ago. All right, but okay. I was, when I have a chance, I I watch it. I really love Seinfeld. Yeah, it's pretty funny for sure. Okay, Juan. Um, so let's get into a part three question. And, okay. uh, and then I'll give you some feedback, okay? Um, here we go. So still talking about relaxation. And again, students and Juan, remember if you can connect to part two, um, that is definitely a positive for the overall result, okay? All right, here we go. Um, what kind of exercises can people do to let go of stress? Well, when it comes to exercises, people can do uh, different kinds of, of exercise. For example, they can run, they can do yoga, and they can also play some, some games like sport games uh, with other people. And this can also lead to socializing. So that, that is also very relaxing. Also, when it comes to games, uh, they can also play board games, card games, or maybe video games. These are not uh, physical exercises, but are exercises for the brain or the mind, uh, which can also lead to some relaxing and <laughs> to have a good time, which is also very good to let go of stress. Okay. Um, when is it a good time to do this for people? Well, I think uh, whenever people have some free time, 
uh, because they can really focus on on relaxing. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it in the middle of the of a work day or in, in when they are at work because uh, they can be distractions and also it wouldn't be appropriate. Uh, for example, the best time for me to relax is on the weekends because I can uh, spend maybe hours playing video games or walking on the park with my dog. All right. Okay. Good. Um, so around a band uh, seven five eight, quite strong. Okay. Um, definitely a seven five, depending on your examiner, could be as high as an eight. I think you could do even better. You have the fluency, you have the vocabulary, the pronunciation. It comes down to content. So um, Juan, this is not just for you, it's for everybody at your level. Once uh, you reach this level of seven, eight, um, most people do have the opportunity to get even a band nine. It's all about focusing on content. So what you're saying mm -hmm. and how you're saying it. I asked you this question, what kind of exercises can people do to let go of stress? And uh, then I asked you the follow up. I think that for the first question, you were hasty in your answer. Do you know what that means? Hasty in your answer? Uh, not exactly. <laughs> ha hasty means that you were too quick to answer. So you didn't oh. really, I don't think you really thought your answer through before giving it and your answer became quite sporadic so it was jumping from one idea to the other idea some of your ideas were really good some of your ideas were kind of like uh really okay um so a little bit disconnected um, mm -hmm. and of course your english was great that's why you got that band seven five eight but the content could have been better and so mm -hmm. you want to kind of follow tatiana's lead in this case where you want to be maybe a little bit slower a little bit more methodical uh, your fluency will still be a band nine because I can tell that you don't need to think about words or grammar. So as long as you're slowing down to think about content, you're not going to lose fluency marks. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so you said, well, when it comes to exercises, you bought a little bit of time with that and then you repeated yourself. You said people can do different yeah. types of exercises. I was Rep looking like for a synonym. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say things. Or, or, or stuff then. <laughs> yeah. Um, so here, what I would do in your case, like if, if the answer is not coming to your mind immediately, I would slow it down a bit. So I would slow down the conversation a little bit to give myself time to think of a good answer, right? It's that age old mm -hmm. wisdom of think before you speak, right? So uh, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. um, I need a moment uh, to think of some good exercises. Okay, and then when you, as soon as you say that, as soon as you realize I need a moment, think about what you had said before. Like, what did you talk about for part two? What kind of answers did you give for the previous questions? Maybe you can use some of that, right? So that's a great question. I need a moment to think of some exercises. And then you can, you might say something like, well, aside from, uh, and then we'll take what Trang helped us out here with, with meditation and yoga. So, well, aside from meditation and yoga, uh, people can also do some breathing uh, exercises or play some relaxing games. Okay. And now I'm much more on target and I don't need to jump around as much. So now I've given my answer and now I can focus more on my explanation. So uh, playing some card games or board games um, with uh, friends in the evening um, allows mm -hmm. uh, people to relax and socialize. Uh, oh, yeah. which is refreshing uh, for the mind and spirit. Uh, this is the reason I play cards uh, with my friends on Saturdays. Okay, and then you're done. And then you're much more focused. Uh, avoid that for example statement. Okay, now let me give you a little bit of reflection on your second answer. We'll do a bit of repetition on this one first. Okay, so here we okay. go. Let me read this, repeat the answer. 
So what kind of exercises can people do to let go of stress? Uh, that's a great question. I need a moment to think of some good exercises. Well, aside from meditation and yoga, uh, people can also do some breathing exercises or play some relaxing games. Uh, playing some card games or board games with friends in the evening allows people to relax and socialize, which is refreshing for the mind and spirit. This is the reason I play cards with my friends on Saturdays. So what kinds of exercises can people do to let go of stress? Well, that's a great question. I need a moment to think of some good exercises. Well, aside from meditation and yoga, people can, people can also do some breathing exercises or play some relaxing games. Playing some card games or board games with friends in the evening allows people to relax and socialize, which is refreshing for the mind and spirit. This is the reason I play cards with my friends on Saturdays. Okay, so that's much better. Now you're much more, do you feel how this answer is a lot more focused on the response and it's not as sporadic? Yeah, yeah, it goes to the point. Right? And then I asked you the follow-up, when is it a good time for people to do this? And then you said, well, uh, when it comes to um, exercises, people can do different types, or sorry, that's the other one. So you said, whenever people have some free time. And I think that was a really good start. That was a very direct answer. Whenever people have some free time, uh, because they can really focus on relaxing. Okay, that was a little bit odd, but it was still okay. And then you said, I wouldn't recommend it during work. You switched to the opposite. So you started to talk about when you wouldn't recommend it, right? That's not the question. The question is when is a mm -hmm. good time? It's not when is a bad time. So you have to be really careful and make sure that you're not answering the opposite question. Like when is it a bad time, okay? Um, so whenever people have some free time because they can really focus on relaxing, um, I would say um, that a person can do a breathing exercise whenever uh, they have at least uh, five minutes. Uh, however, for games, um, it's important to have uh, a few hours so that uh, the person doesn't feel rushed. Right, so just something like that, okay? Um, so visualize the situation, quantify it. Numbers here are really helpful. And then you're yeah. off to the races. Um, here we go, so let's do a bit of repetition on this one as well. So when is it a good time for people to do this? Whenever people have free time because they can really focus on relaxing, I would say that a person can do a breathing exercise whenever they have at least uh, five minutes. However, for games, it's important to have a few hours so that the person doesn't feel rushed. So when is it a good time for people to do this? Whenever people have some free time because they can really focus on relaxing. I would say that a person can do a breathing exercise whenever they have at least five minutes. However, for for games, it's important to have a few hours so that the person doesn't feel rushed. Okay, much better. Now, the trick here, and this is for everybody, is as soon as you feel like you are um, going for an unclear explanation or off topic, then think about what you said that is on topic and quantify it. So if you feel like, okay, I could give numbers for this, like uh, five minutes during work, um, an hour after work or a whole day on the weekend to go to Long Beach as I talked about in part mm -hmm. two, right? So quantify it. As soon as you start quantifying mm -hmm. it, you create clarity. Okay, Juan, thank you so much uh, for volunteering and sharing your English with us. Um, you're definitely on the right track. Just okay. keep practicing, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. You are very Bye. welcome. Bye, Juan. All right, that was Juan from Argentina, um, and uh, he did a great job there. Okay, everybody, I'm going to stop there. I'm out of time. Uh, but uh, again, thank you for all of the volunteers. You've done a fantastic job, everybody. Uh, make sure to keep practicing, and um, remember to use the website. Okay, again, these websites, it's aehelp.com for academic IELTS. 
and gieltshelp.com for general IELTS. Uh, use the Lunar New Year discount code when you get the premium package for a 30% discount. The code is TIGER9. Okay, and it's for three days only after three days this code will expire. So um, thank you for the applause and the support for all the volunteers. Have an awesome rest of your weekend, everyone. I'm Adrian. I'm signing out from beautiful Victoria here on the West Coast, and I'm going to do a bit of relaxation myself. Make sure to do the same. Much love to all of you wherever you are. Bye for now.